During a sustained power outage where the releasing panel is no longer functional, the FireCycle 3 system uniquely defaults to a dry pipe system. This is achieved with the normally open and normally closed solenoid valves reverting to their normal states. This allows for the priming water to flow through the normally open solenoid valve to the pneumatic actuator. A fire has started in the building. As the temperature continues to increase, the sprinkler will activate. Air will continue to discharge, lowering the pressure in the piping network. With diminishing air pressure in the piping network, the prime water pressure will overcome the differential in the pneumatic actuator. The prime water pressure will be released from the prime chamber, exiting through the trim pack drain. With the priming chamber's pressure released, the incoming water pressure forces the clapper off of the seat, flooding the outlet chamber. With the outlet chamber flooded, water begins filling the trim piping, mechanically activating the PORV and PS10 water flow pressure switch. Simultaneously, water will push into the F1 check valve and begin filling the piping network. During the sequence, water rushes towards the activated sprinkler. The sprinkler will continue to discharge a mixture of air and water until the air is purged from the water's path. Water is then continuously discharged from any activated sprinklers, controlling the fire. If power returns during system operation, the panel alarms will sound. If heat has been removed from the detector, the normally open solenoid valve will be powered closed. Once water pressure is established in the priming chamber, the clapper will close against the seat. Water will stop discharging into the sprinkler system and open sprinklers 